What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back Force here with some more Smite coverage. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new god, Thor. Oh yeah, he throws hammers, that's that's for certain. Alright, let's uh, let's start off by picking up some stuff here and uh, probably muting that guy who's spamming. You know, it's the first thing I'm probably going to end up doing, someone spams, people I love to spam in this game. What the hell is everyone doing? Alright, I'm not going to focus on everyone else because they're clearly just nubbing it up here. Uh, <laughs> let me, let's start off by taking a look at Thor's abilities, starting with his passive, Warrior's Madness. Thor gains 20 physical power for each enemy god within 30 feet of him, stacks up to three times. The number one ability is Majlarnis Attunement. Uh, Thor throws his hammer forward, doing 50 physical damage to all enemies in its path outward, and half that damage on its way back. Enemy gods hit by the throw take double damage from the return. Uh, so if you hit an enemy god when the hammer goes out, then it, when it returns, if you hit them again, they take double damage. So that's pretty awesome, most certainly. The number two ability, Teutonic Rift, Thor slams his hammer on the ground, causing a fissure to appear in front of him instantly, slowing enemies by 20% for three seconds. Uh, one second after the slam, spikes erupt from the fissure, blocking movement for four seconds. And an ally has been slain. The number three ability is Berserker's Rage. Thor spins his hammer around him, doing physical damage to for every 0.4 seconds for two seconds. Also, during this time, immune to knock up and slows during that duration. And the last ability, Anvil of Dawn. This is the hilariousness of this new god. Uh, I leap about a billion feet into the air, and I can land so far away. It's really crazy. Uh, it really is. I can't wait to show you that. So again, this is the new god just recently added to Smite, just recently added to the beta. Played a single game with him, and I thought he was really cool. He's known as a a melee brawler. That's what his description. He's not a melee assassin. He just gets in there and brawls. He likes to brawl. He's a brawler. He's a baller? No, I said brawler. Don't be silly. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna back this up here a little bit. I'm being a little silly with uh, going in as close as I am. Let me do my AOE here. There's my number three ability, the spin. So one big thing about uh, Thor that I realized in the first game is you have to be careful not to be overly aggressive. Um, now my number four is a leap, but there's like a ramp up time to it. You can't just do it instantly. And in addition, oh boy, <laughs> you saw that, right? Hammer for the kill. What a start, what a start. All right, I'm gonna try, I don't think I have enough damage to kill Sun Wukong, but let's see what we can do here. Oh boy, oh God. did a lot of damage, not quite enough though. He is pretty low, but not low, and I need, I wish I had mana right now. Wish I had a little bit more mana, could go for the kill. You know, Ra could have just killed him too, but he's uh, he's nubbing it up, I guess. And uh, people are yelling in chat, so that's great too. I didn't mean that, I don't mean he's nubbing it up. I mean, he kind of is, but I'm not that rude, so I'm not actually going to say it. So yeah, pretty interesting god. Uh, you do have to be careful. You'll see the four, you'll see why it's not a, uh, a Val escape escape tool you know so Thor doesn't have he doesn't have a sprint and he doesn't have a reliable jump the ultimate is really more for chasing low people down or for sneak attacks and oh boy can you sneak attack sneak attacks can be hilarious on him because <laughs> you can come up from out of nowhere and just be somebody I'm gonna at least stay in here I'm probably gonna at least stay in here until five before I go back. I'm probably also should be just chilling out and using up my mana here. Okay, so. Kali wants to die, apparently. All right, so here is number four. There is my ultimate. Now I'm gonna chill off and use my mana until I can do the ultimate. And then I'm just gonna, <laughs> oh, nice, Raw. Okay, so there is Kali trying to get away. Let me do this. All right, ready? Time for my ultimate. Let's see if I hit it. So I launch right up into the air, and then I can just land down at an incredible distance away. But you know, when I land, I do physical damage, but I also stun temporarily, as you saw. 
So that wasn't the best situation for it because she had a fair amount of health and I was out of mana so I couldn't follow up the land with any additional damage. Uh, I don't know what my team's doing by the way. People are just being silly as heck. I have no idea. I really don't. But yeah, that wasn't the best example of uh, when to use it, but I just wanted to show it to you right away. And uh, Sun Wukong's gonna die right now to Kali over there. Because he's an idiot, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. I do know we're gonna do some- oh, so here's Sun Wukong. Posing to back, back it up. Provide a wall for him. Try to escape. You need to you need to go back home. You need to go back home. So that was my number two ability that you just saw. Now if I hit an enemy god with it, it slows them up, but it also forms a, a wall of spikes. And it looks like a small wall, but it's not like you can jump in this game, so it's not like anyone's gonna be jumping over it anytime soon. Oh, something else I need to mention, since the last Smite video, take a look at the jungle buffs. They have changed their position. It used to be blue, green, red. Now it's a uh, blue, orange, I guess. That's the speed buff right there. And then the green buff is all the way up there. Um, which is kind of a kind of a bummer, you know? It makes uh, jungling not as, I don't know, not as easy isn't exactly what I want to say. But it definitely changes, definitely changes jungling quite a bit. I want to get that hammer, but I don't want to wait. So, what is he doing over there? What's he doing? What is what is anyone on my team doing? This has been a strange game so far. I uh, I have to say, I'm not so sure what is going on <laughs> with everyone on my team. But all right, so we got Sun Wukong over there. He's kind of low. So I want to do some sneak attack action. Someone just left the game. All right. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. We'll hold, enemy we'll hold off on that sneak metal. attack for now. Ross getting chased back here. Do my little spinny. Okay. All right, so they got enemy raw in the middle. I'm gonna throw my hammer. There's Sun Wukong. Your right tower has been destroyed. Over here. There's the wall. Which he doesn't like too much. An ally has been slain. What is he doing? Oh, okay. Let's just stay there and take all that damage. That's fine. I was hoping that he was gonna run away. I wanted to show you my ultimate uh, in chase, but I guess not. I'm gonna run back here. Grab that. Also grab a couple of potions. And then head back out. So how are we doing so far here? 2-0, 2-0 and 1. So he's a, he's a pretty interesting god and he's, uh, he's definitely enjoyable to play. Overextending is the major concern. We're losing our middle tower. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Which is kind of silly. Your team has destroyed a right oh, hello. Takes double damage on the way back. Let's see if we can get her here. Where's she going? Where's she going? Come on. Yes. Love it. Absolutely love it. And the kill. Yeah. Yeah, Thor. So you see, you see how that ultimate, you see that str the strength of the ultimate there? Uh, you know, chasing, ch chasing enemies that are retreating is uh, definitely one of its, one of its strong points there. And then also again the sneak attacks, as you can imagine. I mean, the distance on the thing is ridiculous. Um, I can really just get up on someone without them kind of knowing what's going on. I'm gonna grab the uh, the blue buff instead of running back here. So we're gonna grab the blue mana buff. So yeah, they changed, they changed the way the buffs are laid out. They put the speed buff on the lower left instead of the uh, health regeneration one. Yeah, 
And do I want to push left for trying to, for the sake of getting the tower? Oh, we got Kali chasing down our Kali. Oh boy. There we go. Yes! Uh, all right. Let me go over here. Oh god. Gonna try to ultimate out of this. There we go. Beautiful. Now, should I try to land on him? Or should I try to run away from him? Oh. I didn't, uh, I didn't actually hit that to activate. It ran out of time, basically. That's what happened. There's the kill! And my ally got the kill, too, there. Wow. Rock. Rockin'. I'm gonna go back. And we're gonna grab this, and then after that, let me think here. I kinda wanna go straight for Deathbringer next. Or should I go for the gloves? Yeah, gloves look good. Gloves look good to get. Let me get two potions. Eh, you know what, I probably have too much HP to even warrant the potions. You know, you get to a certain point when you have so much HP, like the potions, they become almost non-beneficial, you know? But anyways, 5-0-2, oh, decent start. Let's uh, see if we can chase down any of these guys. Gosh darn it. There's a slow on her, and a trap, and the kill. Right, now this guy's dead. Right. Right, 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 right. Well, the game's going pretty good. Let's uh, let's see what else we got here. We got a raw over here. Let's see if I can assist this way. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> I thought I thought I'd be able to see over the mountain, but I guess not. How cool is that ultimate, though, huh? That is so cool. That is really... The fact that there's the distance that you can leap is just ridiculous. It's just absolutely silly. Right, I'm going to try to push left lane back a little bit, because that's actually starting to just get pushed back from uh, the creep waves. Oh, Kali's here, that's why. this back here and shock smite hammer's knocking me off cooldown in time come on get it get it there we go there we go that's good all right so get some action going on center lane an ally has been slain. Let's see if we can get an assist here not that it looks like an uh me oh yeah he's got coming he's got something coming here There we go. I think I did some damage there to assist. Who knows? Who knows if I was helpful at all in that engagement? I couldn't tell you. Let's see how close we are to buying this. We need 1695. So we're, I'm not going to go back until I've got that 1695. And we can get those stacks rocking. And I'm going to preserve my mana here. Because I do want to... Do you want to make sure I'm okay if someone's... You know what? There's the blue buff, so I'm actually going to use it here. We're going to push back and just get the blue buff. Although, you know what? I could just get enough mana here. Nah, they're all alive. This is dangerous. Sun Wukong's coming. I'm out of here. Let's go get the blue buff. Uh, try to deal with Sun Wukong. Let my creep do some damage over there. We got art coming, too. Hmm... You know, I'd be interested to see... I could see this guy being a very strong uh, tank if you were to build him tanky. I could see that going well. I don't think you necessarily have to focus on uh, maxing out deeps on him. I think he could do pretty decent. An enemy has been slain. Oh gosh. Let's 
just he's just gonna leave me alone. With Kali right there, I don't really wanna sit for that engagement. So let's go assist mid. Oh shucks. Shoot, 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 shoot. Almost forgot. Yeah, I should probably try to save my tower. An enemy has been slain. Be right back. Your left tower is under attack. There we go. And finish him off. All right. Now we got missing over here. So hopefully, Raw's careful. And it looks like we're gonna take the tower. So that's good. Tower. I'm gonna back it up. Try to grab green buff. That's taken. Let me try these shenanigans here. Let's see if we can get her. No, it doesn't look like it. Stop her from going back home at least. That was stupid. Really stupid. Put a wall down. Try to stop people from chasing me. Ooh! Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Don't ask. Don't ask me because I do not have an answer for you. That was uh, that was silly for me to go in there like that. It's just <laughs> sitting in a. T I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why, but I didn't realize everyone was sitting there too. I can't believe we're still, I can't believe we're down a guy. I can't believe that guy left. Who was that? That was the guy who kept dying, wasn't it? Yeah, 0 and 5. Of course he left. Why wouldn't he leave? <laughs> Alright, so we're doing pretty good here. Uh, we do have them down to just one tower. We still have three remaining. Of course, my lane is the only one with both towers intact. Yep, just gonna brush a little dirt off my shoulder. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just messing around, but can't dispute the facts. I mean, that's just how it is. That's that's literally what has happened. This tower's down. Let me go back. Attack middle lane, really? They're all up. I could see the. I, I foresee this going badly, especially since with those wards there, their art just saw where we are, and well, their whole team saw where we are, unless they're paying attention to their map. They might be. Hmm, it might be Fire Giant. They could be there. Just saying. I'm just saying there's a possibility that they could be here. Nope, there isn't. Come on, come on, come on. Attack. How is he 20 already? Wow. Way to go. An ally has been slain. If I wasn't so low, I'd stay here to fight, but I gotta go back to heal up. Sorry. All right, so we got a few guys over here, middle. Let's see what we can do. Oh, looks like Art took care of him. <laughs> Art's sitting at 17 kills, wow. Owning it up here. Absolutely owning it up. I thought I was doing all right, but man. That's just impressive. Art can be uh, pretty strong, especially if she gets fed. So if you start off against an unexperienced player and you start to get fed like uh, Art has clearly been this game, then yeah, you're gonna do pretty well. So 
I'm just gonna push this lane back a bit. Although I guess when they had three down, we probably should have gone for a Phoenix together. It's still pretty early though, it's only uh, 19 minutes in the game right now. So, who knows. And they're all up. Sun Wukong just died on their team. So, I take that back. I did just see him, I saw Ra. Don't worry, I'm aware of his presence. away from me. Alright, so let's take a look over here. Oh no, Art's in trouble. Raw died. Let's take that tower. They got uh, just one left, one alive. I'm sorry, let's take this Phoenix is what I meant. Once our creep gets here. Of course. gone too. Yeah, they're in a lot of trouble. They are in a lot of trouble. Nah, it's just gonna sit in there. That was stupid. Oh boy, he's dead. Why is he chasing? Oh no! Thank God for Art. <laughs> Getting all the kills. And uh... Yeah, nice. There's the win. Alright, pretty decent. Pretty decent game. GG. Alright guys, and we're just going to wrap up this video by taking a quick look at Thor in detail here. So here's a quick overview of the god himself. Now let's go ahead and look at his abilities. Pretty decent game, not too bad. Gets, I think it was 7 kills and no deaths. Uh, so they'll start off with a passive warrior's madness. Extra physical power with uh, more enemy gods are in range. Can stack up to 3 times. I've got the ability to throw out my hammer, uh, which does damage on the way out and half the damage on the way back. However, if it hits an enemy god on the way out, it does double damage on the return. And then we've got Teutonic Rift, which is uh, that little, I don't know, that little uh, central line earthquake. It's a projectile thing. It goes in a line, slows enemies that it hits, but also after a uh, short duration, it puts up some spikes, which uh, places down an impenetrable uh, area where people can't walk through. Berserker's Barrage, this is the spinning attack for physical damage, also during that duration immune to knock up and slows. And then lastly, Anvil of Dawn, which is the hilarious jump in the air and sneak up on people <laughs> from out of nowhere. Or, uh, <laughs> that's so funny, or chase someone who's running away. Thanks so much for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, keep watching and keep owning.